time, I didn't realize that the voice that I kept hearing that would wake me out of my sleep on several nights, that kept telling me, telling me repeatedly, if nothing changes, nothing changes. Perplexed and confused by, by what that meant, I found myself reflecting on the characters of leaders that I had respected and admired. Each of them, in their own unique way, emphasized one simple principle that I could not believe that I forgot. If you get caught up in your title, you want to lose your identity. Managing is what you do, but leading is who you are. Mm -hmm. okay. Your team will always be a direct reflection of your leadership. What you value, they will. Your ethics and integrity that you embody, they will. That retrospection was a game changer. The trajectory of my future in management would never be the same. What I went through back then, but didn't realize it at the time, was my pruning season. When the Lord started cutting away everything that inhibited my spiritual growth and my fruitfulness, the toxic weeds of pride, indignation, and condescension decreased, and humility, accountability, transparency, and vulnerability increased. He wrote, rewrote my narrative. That transformation was painful, but it was purposeful. My walk was different. My talk was different because my heart was different. Thank you, Lord, for the lessons. Revealing concealed inequities and transgressions. Conflicted because of my sin. Refusing to repent, refusing to bend. Confronted with odds that seem insurmountable, all of which I have been held accountable. My pride was the reason I was living in shame. I knew freedom and victory could be found only in his name. Eventually I overcame because of his strength and grace. Restoration began when I started seeking his face. I could have never emerged from that darkness alone, but first I had to bow down and cast it all at his throne. It took a long time to reconcile why he broke my heart. It was what was required not what was desired to bring me back into the fold. His divine intervention, his supernatural favor, disarmed us and disabled the devil's stronghold. So thank you, Lord, for teaching me that blessing and curses reside in the lips, of which shall remain shut unless my words inspire, affirm, empower, and equip. Come on.